Welcome to the State of the Ministry in January 2023. I'm Vicar Ken. I am going to be going through just a little bit of a report on what's been going on the last few months since the last time I had a chance to do this, and then just touching on some things that are coming down the road for us over the next couple months. All right, so this last few months, we if we're looking back at November and December, really a lot of the effort that uh, my areas of ministry we were focusing on was leading up to Advent and then Christmas Eve services. As you know, our Christmas Eve services this year were significantly different than they've been in the past. We were trying something a little bit new. Uh, we wanted to try to bring all of those services in line with one another and kind of help some of the planning process, as well as that gave us an opportunity to tie in musicians and some of the families that we've been building bridges between the school community and the church community and uh, allowing people to select which service fit their family's Christmas Eve schedule. So thanks for the freedom to let us do that. Um, there were some great things that happened this past year, some, some lessons that we maybe learned as we look toward next year, but I'm just super excited that we had probably 50 some odd kids and uh, young adults and adults coming through that, that concert band um, part of Christmas Eve services. And that was really exciting to see. It's really exciting to see. I've got to say a big thank you to some of the volunteers and the people on our on our team who helped us accomplish that. Linda Sherman, uh, some of y'all have met my mom. Uh, she and my father have recently been attending, actually I guess it was this last year, they started attending St. Paul with us. Um, and my mom was a big help in doing a lot of the organ accompaniment work, getting the getting the, the music written out for our resources for our people. So thank you to her, as well as we all the people who made the evening itself, uh, the day's services itself happen, from our tech team, our musicians, our organists, uh, Crystal, of course, with directing our handbells and choir. And then we have a lot of volunteers who we can't list all of their names or else this will be a way too long video, but our worship coordinators and our service volunteers, thank you all so much for ministering to, to me, to our family here, to our church family and our community. I appreciate it very much. All right, so as soon as Christmas was over, we kind of took a big breath. Uh, my family and I were out of town for a day or two, and then we launched into January, and we covered a lot of ground already in January. Um, some of you have noticed that our lighting has, has gotten a little bit of an up update. Um, some maintenance that we had been working on scheduling came to fruition early January. A lot of those light bulbs got replaced. We had some, um, some lights repaired and some other lights brought in. So uh, you should be able to see things a lot more clearly and get, we'll get better lighting. And um, now all that's left is me getting some time to, to get my hands in there and um, kind of rebuild and repoint some of those things for our services. But that'll be coming over the next month. Also, our volunteers in our 1047 service, um, this is specific to our music. We're trying something new there. This is where instead of me creating a schedule and pushing it out to everybody and then us having to adjust based on um, life happening, uh, we're trying this thing where they have access to go sign up. Uh, some of you are in, serving in other areas already see that happening in your areas, but specifically we're trying to transition them from a scheduled team to a sign-up team. So seeing how that works, it's been an uh, interesting couple of weeks that we're looking forward to seeing. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that be successful so that people can serve as their schedule allows them to. Finally, I want to touch on Lent. We've got Lent coming just around the corner. February 22nd is Ash Wednesday. So starting Ash Wednesday and every Wednesday through Lent, uh, we will be having in-person worship services, 630 on campus. Uh, we'll also be doing Ash Wednesday services for our chapel uh, in the morning, but our but for our kind of our church-wide services, those will be at 6:30 each week. I'm excited because I get to lead off preaching for the Ash Wednesday service. So stay away or come if that makes a difference to you. But I'm just looking forward to worshiping with you then. Um, finally, Holy Week is um, as we get into Holy Week coming out of Lent. Our Holy Week services will also be at 6:30. So Monday, Thursday. Good Friday, and then Sunday services will again be that seven o'clock sunrise service out in front of the gymnasium, and then we'll have our 8.30 and 10.47 worship services on Easter morning as we celebrate um, Jesus' resurrection and his victory. So thanks for giving me a chance to run this all down with you. If you got any questions, of course, always feel free to reach out to me, Ken Sherman at stpaullakeland.org, or contact the church office. Look forward to seeing you soon.